Now, while the CD is ripping, I just want to say a few things. Check the man page anytime you're working with a command line program such as CD Paranoia. To do that, you just simply type man, which is M A N space, and then the name of the program that you want to uh, read the man page for, such as CD Paranoia. There are a few switches for the man command that you can use, but I'll leave that up to you to read about those. Man is short for manual. The, one of the dictionary definitions of the word manual is a small book, especially one giving information or instructions. Now, manual obviously means a few other things like manual transmission or whatever, but for our purposes, that is the correct definition. With Unix-like operating systems, it is also common practice to provide additional information in the slash user slash share slash doc directory. Sometimes that'll be slash user slash local slash share slash doc. Now, as much as I despise the whole RTFM attitude, which means read the friendly manual, and the F doesn't stand for friendly, to some small extent, I kind of understand that mentality. I don't agree with it at all, but I kind of understand those guys. You know, I think what it, where it stems from is that people need to be willing to help themselves first and foremost before asking others to help. Utilize the literature that is available to you because somebody has spent time writing it and it's kind of insulting to, to ignore that documentation and just immediately start hitting up the forms and the IRC and whatever and start asking questions. You know, read the information first that's available because somebody's already written it. In other words, learn how to teach yourself. That is far more valuable than learning a quick fix that somebody else tells you about in an IRC chat room or on a mailing list. It's, it's far better to, to learn it yourself. What I always like to say is learn how to learn. But at the same time, be passionate to other people who aren't as advanced as you. We all had to start somewhere, so don't belittle other people and treat them in a condescending way just because you know something that they don't. Okay, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, I'll pause the video at this point, and when my CD is done ripping, I'll come back. Okay, now I have all the tracks ripped off the CD, all 11 of them. I can quickly determine that all the tracks are here in this directory just by typing ls space hyphen l, and then hitting enter. And the formatting here is a little messed up because, uh, because I have the terminal window set so small, but that was just so I could zoom in on the terminal window to so you could see what I was typing. But all the tracks are there. If I want to test those tracks, you know, they're, they're currently on the hard drive in sort of what you would call, I guess, a raw format, uncompressed wave. Now, if I want to test those tracks, or at least one of them, just to make sure that I didn't uh, rip down a bunch of garbage off the CD, I can use a small command line utility called Play. That's just simply P-L-A-Y. Play is part of the SOX package, and that's spelled S-O-X, and it stands for Sound Exchanger. So if you want to test your songs at this point, pause the video, go to your package manager, search for SOX, and install that. It's a very small package, less than half a megabyte, and the few dependencies it does have will probably already be installed on your system. At the time of this video, the latest version of SOX is 12.18.1. But I wouldn't worry so much about having the most up-to-date version. Whatever version your package manager, package manager has in its repositories will be fine. If you're interested in learning more about SOX, you can always visit their primary website, http colon forward slash forward slash socks.sf.net. That's socks.s, which is Scott F, like Frank, dot N-E-T. And again, once you've installed SOX, don't forget about the man pages and the extra documentation, which will be usually installed in slash user slash share slash doc. But I'll go ahead and try out one of the songs that I've encoded. Or excuse me, not encoded. I haven't encoded yet, but ripped. So I'll type play, P-L-A-Y, P -L -A -Y, space, track, zero, five, dot, and then I'll just hit tab to use command completion. And then I'll hit enter and see what happens. Sounds good, and I can see the information there on the screen showing me that uh that it's doing its thing. 
Okay, that's enough of that. 